why solar storms could be one of the biggest risks to technology. As we continue to fight effects of the worldwide COVID-19 pandemic, businesses increasingly rely on digital solutions and communication networks. But what if those systems were taken down by nature? There's a real risk here that geomagnetic storms could trigger a burst of solar energy that would overwhelm national power grids, shutting down cell towers and crippling worldwide communications. So in this video, I want to explain in very simple terms what solar storms are and what we can do to protect ourselves against them. So what is a solar storm? The sun occasionally releases pent up energy in form of a blast of plasma called a coronal mass ejection or CME for short. Sometimes we also refer to this as a solar flare. And CMEs can dramatically change the Earth's magnetic field. That's when the power grids can be affected and equipment could be destroyed. So if this happens today, it could have disastrous consequences as it could knock, the, knock out power plants, transmission lines and substations for entire regions or cities or countries. Huge parts of the world's population could be without, without power for weeks at a time, leading to things like health crisis, food shortages and devastating economic effects. So what can we do to protect ourselves against solar storms? Across the US federal government, over 25 different program programs are working on ways to prevent solar storms from damaging our power grids. Utility companies are already working on solutions. Some organizations are building uh, capacitor banks that can absorb and dis uh, dissipate energy, excess energy that is released from solar storms. And electricity dampening devices, so-called Faraday cages, can also be used to surround critical equipment. And the US uh, Department for Energy is building also things like flywheels that can physically drain excess energy from grids by spinning faster or slower. However, the problem is that none of these solutions are perfect. And the best way to prevent disastrous effects of solar storms is to predict them in advance. So the Deep Space Climate Observatory, for example, provides crucial data about the timing and speed of solar bursts. And, e and even better warning systems are being developed at the moment. And with proper warning, power stations could be shut down safely to reduce or elim eliminate any risks of an overlo uh, overload. Solar storms, powerful enough to wreak havoc on electronic equipment, strike Earth about every 25 years or so. The last major solar flare was recorded in April 2001, which was the most powerful ever recorded and more powerful than the one in 1989 that actually disrupted the power grids in Canada. Luckily, the flare was not directly aimed towards Earth, so there wasn't a big damage. If you want to learn more about any future trends in business technology, subscribe to my channel or check out my latest books, Business Trends in Practice and Tech Trends in Practice.